Hi again, this is Yarl Stewart. It dawned on me that during my videos, I realized that basically some people may not know how to use some of the tools that I use in some of my videos. So I decided that I'm gonna make some basic uh, videos where I teach some people how to use some very basic tools for what we do. On this video, I'm gonna be doing the jigsaw, okay? The jigsaw is a great thing for cutting out shields. Somebody better get acquainted with it in your group. So I'm gonna teach first, as always, safety. As you can see, I'm wearing glasses. Not everybody's gonna wear safety glasses when they're using stuff, but especially if you're starting out, you want them. You want them always, because you only have two eyes. So you want some nice rated safety glasses. Doesn't matter how much of a goober you look like, as long as you get to keep your eyes. This can protect from splinters flying up from the jigsaw and getting into your face and your eyes. Next, I recommend a good pair of work gloves. This gives it so that if you, for some reason, get distracted and the blade comes at your fingers, you have a brief second where you are not going to get hurt or severely hurt because you have this extra layer of protection. Also, when you're grabbing plywood, there are splinters everywhere on it, so it helps protect against that. Another thing that I like to wear sometimes is a nice cut resistant sleeve. You can get these at most hardware stores and basically this helps prevent getting splinters on my arm when I'm carrying around sheets of plywood. Now, the next thing about the jigsaw is what type of blade you're going to have. Now, there are two realistically main types of blades, wood and metal. Now, the difference between the two is that metal has a significantly smaller tooth profile. It's like a file on a stick. Then you have the wood that looks like something out of your nightmare's teeth. As you can see, real fast, here is a metal. Now the reason you can see these shiny parts every so often here is because it's actually wavy. I'm not sure if I can get the wave, but the blade profile goes like this and the teeth are very small. Now, for the wood, you can see very big teeth and the blade is straight. So, depending on what you're cutting, you wanna make sure you have the right blade. A, a metal blade is not going to go through plywood very fast and a wood blade is just gonna get caught up and throw your metal around. So with that, we're gonna start cutting. Now that we're at this point, what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you have a good surface to work on for where you're gonna cut. And you wanna set it up so that the cut line that you're cutting on is away from whatever you are setting it on. Because the blade on this is only so long and if you have a, something that it's going to hit at its max rotation, it's gonna cause the uh, saw to jump. Now, next, we want to make sure we're wearing all of our appropriate safety equipment. I accidentally had my glove off. Now I can't find it, but I will use a different glove. So, Next, what you want to do is you want to make sure you know where, after you know where your plywood and your base is, you want to make sure that you are plugged in. Well, actually, first, before you plug in, you want to make sure that your blade is, is secure, okay? How you do that is you grab the blade and you pull. Then what you do is you plug it in. Now, if you need to change out a blade, the best thing safety-wise to do to change out a blade is to unplug the machine entirely. That way, nothing can happen and you'll be good. Another safety precaution is, is keep the prongs with you, okay? I used to work construction and I know a guy who lost a finger because some guy saw a cord unplugged next to the power source and was like, oh, I'm gonna be super helpful while my friend was changing out a blade on his skill saw. So, make sure you know where the cord is when you're taming out the blades. Now, 
the best way to start sawing first get your puppies out of the way so the first thing you do is you want to make sure that you have all your safety equipment on before you pull that trigger now you bring that jigsaw right up to the edge but not touching the edge so that the blade isn't touching but you've got the level playing field right here all set up so that you're ready to go you will lightly squeeze the trigger until it starts going and then once you're at full squeeze and it's at full um, speed you will then start cutting okay now how you want to cut this is you want to cut off chunks okay because the smaller your plywood is the more manageable it is unless you're trying to cut like a four you know it's very small piece this is how you want to do it so here we'll go should not have to put much force into your jigsaw. Most jigsaws want to go forward. So you're barely touching it to move along and you don't want it to move more than like an inch a second. That would be the fastest, just so that you have a nice clean cut. Now, if you have to stop in the middle of a cut like I just did, what you want to do is you want to pull your jigsaw back just a centimeter or so, so that it's clear start back up again and then start cutting again. Six of the jigsaw. Hope you guys enjoyed the video.